Today in the Audio Hotline studio, I'm going to be reviewing the Movo VXR10 Pro. This microphone's considered to be somewhat of an on-camera shotgun microphone, but today we're not only going to test it like that, we're going to see if it's good for YouTube videos, just spoken word stuff in general, just see everything this little guy can do. But before we get into all of that, let's get mic'd. <laughs> Welcome all audio nerds to the audio hotline, and as I said before, we've got the Movo VXR10 Pro in the studio. Now with this microphone coming in at $50, it's very intriguing, especially to YouTubers, just people who want to create content, but also have good audio. But I'm also kind of curious, like, where is the line? Could it be good for gamers? Could it be good for podcasters? And I kind of just wanted to see for myself as well, to see how good the audio could be out of such a tiny, cute little microphone. So I'll test it in just an absolute ton of different ways. And since there are going to be a lot of different things in this video, just so you know, I will have timestamps down below. Now currently I'm actually using the Deity HD TX to record this, recording at 24 bit at 48 kilohertz. And this is how this microphone sounds, currently probably about a little over a foot away from me. But now I'll go ahead and tell you what comes with this microphone when you purchase it. When you purchase the Movo VXR10, it comes with two cables. One is a 3.5 millimeter TRRS to TRS and the other is a 3.5 millimeter TRRS to TRRS. This comes with a foam windscreen as well as a furry windscreen. This microphone comes with a very nice case that has molded foam on the inside that fits all of the accessories. This comes with a Ryko shock mount and of course the microphone itself, the VXR10 Pro. And when it comes to this microphone's price and everything that's included with it, I'm honestly amazed. Like it having its own case, two different windscreens, two different cables for two different situations, a shock mount, has everything you need. It's awesome. And the build quality that comes with everything is fantastic. Well, now that we've talked about what comes with the microphone, I'm just going to briefly tell you about one feature that this has that's pretty awesome. On the back of this microphone, you won't only find a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes out to your recorder or camera, you'll also find a headphone jack. It's honestly a really cool feature that I haven't seen in this type of microphone, like ever. But it's a really great way to monitor your audio. But the one thing I will say though, is that it is not latency free monitoring. Very simply, this headphone jack is just for playback. So you won't be able to monitor your audio through it while you're recording, but it's still very nice to have. You can just record a quick clip, listen back, make sure everything is fine, and then you're good to go. So even though it's not like a full on, full fledged, latency free monitoring headphone jack, it's still a nice feature, especially for the kind of microphone it is and the price tag. But now that we've talked about what comes with the microphone and what comes on the microphone, now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the microphone. Let's go ahead and talk about some specs. The Movo VXR10 Pro is an electric condenser microphone with a super cardioid polar pattern. This has a frequency response of 20 Hz to 18 kHz, a sensitivity of negative 36 decibels, a signal to noise ratio of 78 decibels, and it is compatible with smartphones, Macs, PCs, tablets, cameras, and pretty much anything that can take a 3.5 millimeter cable. And this has a net weight of only 60 grams. Well now that we've gone through the basics and the specs, let's get to the stuff that matters. Let's go ahead and start testing this microphone out. I'm gonna test this in a lot of different ways, so just bear with me, and if there are certain tests that you wanna see, once again, timestamps down below. While I'm doing these tests, I will have it written on the lower third of the video what test I am doing and what device I am recording with. To start it off, I'm just gonna run through some of the usual tests that I do. For the indoor test, I will use the foam windscreen just to see if it'll help with plosives. Then when we get to the outdoor test and everything, then I'll uh, put on the, the fluffy windscreen. I'm not gonna say not a live kitten. I'm not gonna do it. Let's get close to this. This is a good shot. It's a good angle. It's a... Uh... Zoom it in so I don't look stupid. There we go. I still look stupid. Okay. Here's how this microphone sounds when I'm close to it without a windscreen on. Wow. That picks up a lot of air. And now here is with the foam windscreen on, which actually does cut out a decent amount of air. It's actually pretty solid. Good for you. <laughs> 
Now with this microphone right in front of me, about six inches away, let's try some plosives. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 With me about a foot away, here are some more plosives. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now, if you were thinking about getting this microphone and doing some YouTube gaming while you have the microphone on the same desk as the keyboard, here's how it's gonna sound. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and test this polar pattern with some white noise. Here's when I talk into the front and slowly turn it. Should drop off pretty quick being super cardioid. It does, okay. And me talking into the back. Now if I wanna get even further from this microphone so it's not in the camera shot anymore, here's how it sounds about three feet away. Now if I wanted to use this for voiceover or podcasting and I wanted to have it pretty close to my face hole so you get like a warm bottom end, you know, a warm, nice big bottom end. <laughs> I'm so immature oh my gosh here's how it would sound which is very simply just a bass roll off just to get rid of any rumble but also with some compression and limiting and i'll go ahead and label whatever else i decide to use now let's go ahead and see how the tone of the microphone changes with the different windscreens on here's the microphone with no windscreen on and now here's the microphone with the windscreen on once again here is no windscreen and once again, here is a windscreen. And now here is the tonal change with the Fluffy Kitty windscreen on. Now let's go ahead and jump into a bunch of other random tests. So right now I'm just plugged directly into my Canon R5. I'm out in my backyard just to doing an outdoor vloggy vlog. There's a little bit of a breeze going on and I do have the fluffy kitty windscreen on, so hopefully it's taken some of that down. There are some cars that are going by on a road over there. <laughs> Roads are a thing. But as I said, I'm just plugged directly into my camera. And honestly, camera preamps aren't amazing. So hopefully the sound isn't too bad. I think I'm only at about 30% gain, but I probably will have to boost it a little bit in post. But if you're one of those vlogging types, Here's how it sounds. And if you're one of those vloggers that like turns the camera around and you want to hear the sound of the back of the microphone, let's do that. Sadly, all of our plants are dead because it's hella cold right now. So this isn't great. But here's a cute little kitty cat. Uh... But if I was to turn this microphone around while I'm vlog logging here's how it sounds. So right now I'm just in an untreated room with the microphone about arm's distance away from me, just on top of my Canon R5. Hey. Oh, whatever. Now let's do a quick sound effect test. Don't make fun of my green knife. Now here is the Movo VXR10 Pro going directly into my Canon camera, just into the mic jack. This is the internal audio on my Canon camera. It definitely isn't gonna be very good. Not gonna be great, I can tell you that much. One other comparison I wanted to do really quick is just the iPhone 12 Pro audio versus the Movo, just see how it stacks up. Right now the Movo is plugged in to the iPhone and here is how it sounds, about two feet away from me. Now I don't have any microphones plugged into the iPhone. This is just the internal audio, and here is how the iPhone 12 Pro sounds. Well, now that we've gone through the basics, the specs, and the testing, and now that I've went back and listened to all those different tests that I did, now I'm finally ready to give you my review, my opinion of the Movo VXR10 Pro. And just so you know, the rest of this review is being recorded on the VXR10 Pro. And just one more additional test, it's just right over my head, just kind of the YouTube filmmaker way of life. 
right there. To be completely honest, I've always thought that these microphones are exclusively for vloggers. And I'm sure that the sales for this are a majority of people that are gonna have it on their camera for vlogging or for scratch audio or something like that. There are some people that prefer the on-camera microphones, and then there are some people that prefer lavalier microphones. But I do feel like even though lavalier microphones are really convenient, you can hide them really well, you can just keep them on yourself, that's great, but you can actually do a lot with this on-camera shotgun microphone. I'm honestly kind of surprised. When I was able to get it relatively close to my mouth, but not too close where you could start hearing massive plosives. I felt like it really shined. But here's the thing with audio. I feel like a lot of broadcast people and podcasters want their voices to sound amazing. And I get it, I'm that way. But with a microphone like this, you kind of just want it to sound natural. Like you want it to sound like that person is in the room with you. Not necessarily that they're listening to your voice into a microphone, but more that they're just sitting there with you. And quite honestly, I feel like this microphone did a really good job of just that. Could you get a podcast sound out of this microphone? I actually think you could. You could definitely make it work. Is it my first choice for podcasters or voiceover people that want that big sound? No. But this microphone does a good job of being a vlogger's microphone, but also could be a great in-studio microphone if you just want a natural, good sound for your YouTube channel. One of the things that I'm not the biggest fan of is not being able to have latency-free monitoring with this microphone. It'd be awesome if you could have your headphones plugged in while you're not recording and listening back and everything and seeing how it sounds rather than having to record something, play it back, and see how that sounds. Is it the biggest deal? No. Is it nice that it still has the headphone jack? Absolutely. I definitely prefer having that over nothing. Now when it comes to the comparison between like the iPhone and the Movo, and by the way, that video quality on the iPhone, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. It was like in the best HDR 4K mode possible, and it looked not good. Probably user error. But when it came to the quality of the iPhone or the camera's internal audio, Obviously, the Movo won. It definitely was an improvement. Was it a 50 to $60 improvement? Hands down, yep. The real advantage you get with the Movo is how directional it is and how it doesn't pick up so much room noise. That's where I've always had a really big issue with iPhone audio or camera audio. You're just hearing so much of the room and not just your voice, it's just like ambience, ambiance, and your voice rather than just like your voice. I don't like that. I want the focus here. And another big benefit of the Movo is being able to position it wherever you want. Right now I'm using an extension cable to go to my Canon R5 and I have this right over my head, out of frame. You don't have to see it or anything unless you want to, which I prefer seeing microphones because they're hot. They get me going. It's nice to have that versatility to be able to put a microphone one place that isn't always on your iPhone or camera. So getting an extension cable, I think is a good call. But like I said before, I think this is a solid sounding microphone. It sounds natural. It just sounds like you're in the room with me rather than listening to me over a high quality microphone. I mean, the closer you get, the more you get that like heavy bass and that air getting captured. And that can be a bit overwhelming, but if you can get it about six inches to a foot away from you, I think that's a really good spot for it to be. But overall, I do think it is definitely an improvement over internal audio from an iPhone or camera or anything like that. But not only talking about the fact that this improves your audio quality, I mean, it comes with a case, two separate cables for whether you're recording into a camera or recording into your phone. I mean, that's a big deal. I can't tell you how many times I've had to buy a TRS to TRRS adapter or TRRS to TRS adapter. It's annoying. So the fact that it comes with that is fantastic. The case that this comes with is amazing, but I will say that it is kind of big, especially if you're gonna put it in like a video backpack, like it's gonna take up a decent amount of space. But overall for storing this microphone in general, it is really nice. The windscreens that come with it are effective. I do wish that the Fluffy Kitty windscreen was maybe a little bit better at rejecting wind noise, but it still does pretty good. So the grade that I give the Movo VXR 10 Pro is a B. For a lot of video creators and just people that need better audio in general, I think this is a very good option, especially for the overall sound improvement from just internal audio and all of the accessories that come with this. Thank you all for watching this review of the Movo VXR10 Pro. I hope that it helped you out, helped you decide whether you want to get one of these microphones or not, but most of all, 
I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews and comparisons and other audio related videos. Once again, a big thank you to Movo for sending this microphone over to me for review. But the biggest thank you to everyone that subscribes and watches these videos. I really do appreciate you. And once again, thank you all for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.